This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Another photo merge feature is called Photo Merge Style Match. It's a very interesting effect. It allows you to take one image, then apply the appearance settings of another image to it. In this example, we're gonna use the Fog Pano 2 image. I've got it highlighted. File, New, Photo Merge Style Match. Once again, it's gonna load this image up into the Photoshop Elements Editor. And this looks a little different. You'll notice that the screen is divided into two areas, Style Image and After. Right now, because there is no Style Image, all we see is the original Fog Pano image we had before. In the bottom of the interface, where normally you'd see the project bin in the Elements Editor, what you actually see now is a style bin. The style bin contains images that you can apply styles from. For example, I'm just going to drag the Ghost Town image into the Drag Style Here area. This will become our style source, and the image now adjusts accordingly. I can do it again with another image. So we're basically using one image as the style source, and it's applying the changes based on color, intensity, tonality to our original image. But what happens when you wanna use an existing image from your organizer? Well, that's very easy. You can simply choose Add Style Image. I'm gonna to choose to Add Style Image from Organizer. You can also add a style image from the hard disk itself. It's going to open the Add Photos dialog, and you could actually add any images here that you wanted. I'm looking specifically for the second pano image. I choose Add Selected Photos, and you could add one image, two images, three images, 20 images at once. It doesn't really matter. You can specify to only add images from certain albums or with certain keyword tags. So if you have a really large catalog, the ability to limit what displays here or limit the images that display here can be very helpful to you. I'm gonna choose Done to close the dialog box. And now, at the bottom of the style bin, I have this secondary fog panel colored image. This is simply a very similar image to the original, but it's been color tinted, and we wanna pull those colors in. So I wanna drag this new style image over the old pickup truck in order to replace it. And once again, this will take a little while because it has to analyze the image and then apply those changes to our original fog pano photograph. So once applied, you'll notice that the fog pano image, the original one, now has different color settings. You can control exactly how much of the style of the original image is applied to your photograph in the photo merge style match sliders to the right. Style intensity allows you to control the strength of the style as it's applied. Style clarity, I'm gonna raise that a little bit to its maximum level. So if you use the style clarity slider to its maximum level, you can also just experiment with the style effects by changing the sliders. I'm gonna reduce it now so it actually is slightly less clear. There isn't a single setting that will work for all of your images. What you'll find is that it's an artistic effect. It's entirely up to you. Sometimes you'll want to reduce the intensity if you have a particularly powerful image to work with. Sometimes you'll want to increase it. You can enhance the details to sharpen up the image. You also have the ability to apply, use a style eraser and a style painter. The style eraser removes areas that are being affected by the style source. The style painter adds in areas that are being affected. So you can literally paint on the style effect. You can increase the size of the style painter by going to the size menu in the upper left-hand corner when the style painter is active. It's a brush. You can also use keyboard shortcuts, the same with any brush. The bracket keys on your keyboard, the left bracket makes the brush smaller, the right bracket makes the brush larger. So the eraser can remove the effects of the style source while the painter adds them back on. You can control the shape of the brush tip 
you can use any of the brushes that are currently loaded into the Photoshop Elements editor. So I'll choose a 200 soft brush, like so. It's entirely up to you. You can accomplish some really interesting effects with this. There is no right, there is no wrong. It's simply, what do you want it to do? I'm actually gonna use the Style Painter, by the way, to paint back on the style. I'm gonna leave it off of the absolute front area, this hill here, because it was making it a little too dark. I like the effect in the background, but once again, that's just what I happen to like. When you're finished, you can press the Done button, and that's going to create a new image for you based on the settings you've used here. So once it's finished, what you end up with is a new Photoshop document, the original image is the background layer. Turn this off for a second. And then there's a style layer above it. This is the effect you'll notice. They're merged together because of this layer mask, which controls the visibility of the style layer. Anything on this little layer mask thumbnail that's black is fully transparent. Anything that's white is fully opaque. And that's what creates that merge. This layer mask is the result of using the eraser and the painter to control the application of the style. You can always save your file from File, Save, choose your location, and you've got your new file. Whenever you're finished, you can click on the Organizer button in the upper right-hand corner to return to the Organizer. Back in the Organizer. The photo merge effects are really interesting and they demonstrate some of the more artistic features available to you when working in the Elements Organizer. The last one, Style Match, can be a really powerful feature because if you go to the trouble of creating an image the way you like, of modifying it, of adjusting its colors and its tones, and you want other images that share these same qualities, Style Match is a very quick and efficient way of replicating the appearance of one image to another or to 10 others if you like.